Hello everybody, my name is Gadam and welcome back for a brand new series. This time officially, we're going to be starting off today franchise mode boys for NHL 23. I did a first video where I looked at the new stuff that was added to the game. Uh, the game overall, I kind of tested it out, reviewed it a little bit. Uh, some things I wasn't a fan of, other things I was pretty impressed with, uh, especially the franchise mode. I've had the chance to play with it ever since, and I actually uh, do like it. I do like franchise mode quite a lot more, boys. Uh, it's really fun the way they did the whole custom league things and stuff like that. I tried Be a Pro, absolute hot garbage, boys. It's even worse than last year, somehow. So we're not going to be playing that shit. Forget about that. Uh, another thing is uh, hot. Our ultimate team is actually pretty fun when it doesn't lag. Obviously it lags every 5 seconds like it always does. Uh, even with my be the best connection in the country that I have. Uh, I, it still lags for me. So that's EA connection right there I guess. So uh, yeah hot is alright I guess. When it comes down to gameplay. For the rest I don't really care too much. But let's start it off with franchise mode. I've already went ahead and uh, got my own custom roster uh, created by uh, one of the custom files, community files and stuff like that. So everything should be all right. Um, for example, uh, it was edited properly where the guy basically uh, edited uh, Suzuki to be an 89 and Caulfield to be an 87. You know, instead of being 84 and stuff like that makes a lot more sense boys uh, especially since Kafel and Suzuki are elite players they're dangerous players they're the two main dangerous players from uh, uh, from uh, Montreal there's a bunch of other players but I'm doing that uh, I'm I'm talking about them specifically because that's the people I know the most about since it's Montreal and stuff but Today, let's not talk about that. Uh, we are going to be talking about Custom League. This is the one we're going to be doing today. Uh, this makes to the point where, why would you do the authentic uh, or uh, expansion thing when you can now do Custom League? This is much better. This is by far the best. You can get your own league done. All the names, all the stuff. So much fun, boys. Obviously, we're starting off. 48 teams. We're going max style, boys. We're going to have the max amount of fun possible. With that, we're going to need six divisions. Um, that's eight divisions is too much, boys. So we're going to be putting six divisions. I've already tested out everything. Six divisions. Uh, salary cap, I kind of want to have it this year. Uh, but that would be a lot to work with. That would definitely be a, a, a lot to work with. So I don't know, boys. I really don't know. I might uh, keep it on. I might keep it on. Salary cap inflation, I'm going to put it off, though. I don't want it to go up. Uh, I, I want to be a little bit more arcadey in that sense. So it's going to be one of the first times for us actually having a salary cap of some sort, boys. So ha being limited in what type of player we can actually have in our team. Uh, not being too OP, you know what I mean? So, uh, we need, uh, so we got salary cap. We are already obviously going to upgrade the salary cap though. So, upgrade it to 100 million at least. You know, so at least we're going to have a lot more leeway and stuff like that. A minimum, I got a minimum have a salary cap of 60 million in my roster. Which is probably not a thing that's going to happen for my team that I'm going to be choosing. I'm going to tell you in a second, boys. Player max salary, 22 million right now. It's all right, I guess. Um, salary minimum. We've got uh, minimum salary, I guess, this. Yeah, sure. Why not? All of that, rookie, and stuff like that. So we're good on that. Off Robin, uh, the rounds, we're going to be... So this one is... If it's set on, the player team will uh, play in a round robin schedule by uh, uh, based on the number of teams. We're not going to do that. Uh, we're just going to do instead uh, regular stuff. 82 games, like always. Uh, Division-wise, everything seems good. Everything seems good enough as it is. I'm not going to change anything. All of this is fine. We're going to do conference instead of league for the playoff boys. In the early days, right? Before they switch it off for the league system where... 
anybody can basically be in it, which is kind of frustrating. I want to be actually the top 16 of each division that makes it, right? Straight up top 16. We're not going to mess around with that. Uh, playoff for sitting, wild, wild card run. Both are going to be off. Regulation, O2 wins, total wins. All that is good. Uh, we're going to be putting, obviously you already know, boys. Uh, one, uh, this the H thing is a home game and A is away game. Right now, just one H means one home game, which means just one game, a single knockout game. This is usually what I go for, uh, just to make it even quicker. We could do um, aggregate, like the one that scores the most goals. We could do two go two matches or best out of three. We could do a best out of three, boys. But uh, I don't know. It's either a singles knockout or best out of three. I'm thinking singles knockout. It's much more volatile, much more interesting. We're going to go singles knockout. Uh, for this, now we're in the AHL, same thing. Six, uh, six divisions, all that good stuff, All the, everything's good. We're going to do conference, stick 16 right here. Same thing, single knockout right here. Oh, you know what, boys? I feel like we should be playing two games. Let's do the aggregate thing. Let's do the aggregate thing. Why not? We're going to do the aggregate thing. Uh, aggregating means basically it's just like the early, early uh, uh, years of the league, which uh, where they were. That's what they were doing against uh, the uh, w the. That's what they were doing against the Canadian league uh, for the playoff. Is basically uh, they would play two or three games, but it's the game the team that scored the most goals during the entirety of these games that actually ended up winning the playoff, um, the round. So that's what we're going to be doing. It's going to be a little bit more interesting. Two games only, but with the aggregating. So whichever team scores the most gets the win. That's going to be interesting. So it's going to be all about offense, boys. Now, obviously, we're going to put in my name right here. Get them more. Let me just put in my name, boys. Uh, so we're good to go. It's going to be my let's play. All right, here we go. So that's going to be it. Now time to choose which team we are. We have 48 teams in the league. We can choose whichever team we want. We want to keep, uh, I want to keep every single one of the current teams in here, boys. Um, I've got, uh, currently right now, I've got uh, NHL. Uh, currently right now, I want to be uh, a European team. That's what I want to be. But first off, switch this guy off. Because we are obviously going to have the all-star team in here. All right. All-time all-star all team is going to be in here. That's going to be a thing, boys. Now, keep in mind, there's some stuff that might happen. Some fizzy stuff. Some players are... Rookie players are supposed to play with other teams. Uh, are not going to be with their teams. Just because they're already playing with their... Uh, counterpart that uh, the the uh, European uh, counterparts so they're going to stick with those teams instead uh, that's why I made sure to may put at least Skavkowski with Montreal uh, put Sean Shane Wright with uh, with Vegas so uh, not Vegas but with the Krakens so I made sure to put a couple of them you know uh, Brad Lambert and all that Made sure to put them into their respective team at least. But the other ones, not so much. They're probably going to stick with their European uh, team boys, which is all right. So there's a couple of teams here and there. I'm okay with them being in there. Uh, I'm just going to look around, see which team I want to be. Uh, this team, I'm going to switch it off. So a couple of teams here and there. We want to switch off, obviously. I want the Pelicans in here. So we're going to have the Pelicans in here, boys. We are obviously going to be having uh, this. No, 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 that, not the not the wild. So the SHL already has every single one of their teams in there. We want to limit that a little bit, boys. So what we want is we want the TPS in here. Now, Dell is missing a couple of team representatives. Uh, I kind of wanted to go for the Steelers or the Red Bulls. Uh, we'll go for the Red Bulls just because we need at least one world, a Red Bull team right in there. It would make sense, boys. So let's put at least one Red Bull team. 
Uh, we've got these guys, uh, which I'm not really a fan of. So we're just going to put them... Instead of them, we're going to put an extra league play, uh, extra league team, maybe? Or national team. I feel like national team will be the way to go, unless... Well, Liga doesn't have a lot of representative either. Uh, let's put in a Liga team. We're going to get rid of these, uh, these guys. And put Ice Hockey Boys. So, uh, we're going to put these guys in. There it is. These little guys. The dragons or whatever. Uh, so, I think we're good with that. Uh, I think that's f good enough as it is. Uh, you guys can let me know if you want me to change it up or something. I, I, I won't be able to change it up, but... Uh, if uh, we can, I always retry or something like that. But, uh, yeah, I got a couple of custom teams here and there. Like, some actual, uh, uh, European teams, all of that stuff, good stuff. A couple of teams I don't really care about. Like, for example, the, uh, Orebro. I don't really care about him too much. I want to see really quick. Is he... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be good enough to do the, for the league. Put in these guys, I guess. The uh, the uh, uh, PLANs or something. P uh, PLZAN. We're going to put these guys on. So, uh, yeah, we got a couple of people. We even have Gr Chris Neal in here. And that team. I think it, that's him. So, yeah, we got a couple of things here and there. And every single um, uh, team has their minor counterpart. So they've got uh, a couple of teams here and there, like these guys, for example. They got the 1891 uh, uh, team, which I would have liked them to be in the actual NHL, but, you know, we can't have everything. So the team I'm going to be choosing is a minor league team, uh, which I already know who I want to go for. I'm going to make my life a living hell, boys. Uh, I want to either go for the Pelicans or I want to go for, well... That's the thing. In my own free time, I'm playing as the Pelicans. So I want to make it a little bit different. We are going to be playing with these guys. The 1912 IBF boys. Which is probably one of the... Well, not really one of the uh, oldest. As you can see, my uh, AHL team is older than me by far. But uh, this one, this team is almost as old as this. As the NHL. Most of the European teams are older than the NHL. So... This is going to be interesting. I want to put a very old team, just like the Montreal Canadiens, and and see what we can do with them. Now, we got a lot of team budget. As you can see, 148 million of team budget. That means that we're not paying a lot, and we're probably very much under the cap salary, So, which means we're going to be forced to go and sign some people, which is exactly what I was uh, having in mind. So, here's the how the divisions are going to work. It looks like that's how they mixed it up. I'm going to be in that division, in the uh, fifth division right here. Uh, we're going to switch the names a little bit. Obviously, I'm going to rename them to put their real counterpart really quick. All right, job done, boys. So we got the uh, Western Conference over here. Why Western Conference? Because they're in the West. The, they're in the Americas, boys. So uh, they're going to be in the Western sphere. So we got the Atlantic, Metropolitan, pa Pacific, and Central, of course. Uh, and then uh, we have, well, the Eastern Conference. Obviously, it's part of the, um, these guys are going to be part of it, which is fine, boys. It doesn't matter too much. But uh, here we have the Central Division, of course, Western Europe and Eastern Europe, I guess. It doesn't matter. I mean, some of them, it won't make sense at all, but I'm not going to switch them around anyways. So we're good to go. We also have the AHL, which are not going to be... They're not classified, but I don't really care. I really don't care uh, where they are situated at. That does... It's not a my concern. Uh, not a my concern at all. We're going to be off with uh, owner mode. CPU trades on. Fargovar off. A, a coach has lines off, boys. Everything off except for uh, trade then uh, for CPU trades. Everything else is off. Let's do this. Let's go straight up, boys. So... Here we are. We've got something right here. Custom league settings. We can always go back and change those up, boys. Quick settings really quick. So let's put the quick settings on. Uh, three minutes. Sure, for the games. Franchise. Uh, difficulty. I don't really care too much. Rookie, I guess. Whatever. Uh, easy for trade difficulty, please. Uh, waivers off. 
right waivers off so make it even tougher for us we're going to be stuck with the with the players um if we uh put them in the minors uh both for that uh, we want to show everything that's available i don't want to have to to have to uh, not uh, uh, know what type of players these guys are advanced settings so fully healed no fully healed rotate goalies on yes high high and high for these uh we uh got nothing else really we also have morale meetings off obviously we don't want that scouting assignment warning off as well trade buster uh, blockbuster trade alerts we do want that on there it is going pretty fast boys but i know exactly what i want uh attribute effects eight obviously game speed six injury occurrences boys we're going to put it at 8. All right. We're going to put it at 8. It's very important that we don't uh, we don't get injured too much. Uh, 8. It's going to be 8 for now. If I see there's literally no injuries, then I'll put it at 9 or something, boys. So that's fine as it is. Don't need to change anything else, boys. Let's go straight on. Keep uh, keep the solar cap on. There it is. So here's the thing. I'm probably the first thing we're gonna have to do is probably gonna find some free agents, at least make a couple of trades, a lot of trades, a lot of signings, because we need to. We're gonna need to get some money into our team. We're not. We don't have a lot of money. So let me see our uh, contract situation right here. First off, uh, contracts. So let's see what our team has. So contract. Yeah, I know about contra contract uh, extensions. So here's what we got. Uh, cap space, we got 38 million of cap space. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So we got 38 million, 38 million of space. That's a lot. That's a lot of space. We can sign anybody. We can sign a bunch of studs, boys. So here's what we got with that. Uh, first stop, first move we're going to do, boys, is we're going to put up our roster. So what does it look like? So one, uh, we got Larson, by the way. So we got Johan Lawson. We got some good players overall. We got some pretty decent players to start with. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, who's better over here? It doesn't really matter. Uh, they're all kind of the same. So I'm not going to put that on. These guys are going to go back into the miners. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you are going there. Okay, there we go. That's perfect. There we go. There we go. So every, uh, I got a lot of centers. A lot of centers, boys. Uh, maybe way too much, uh, way too many centers, uh, even. Uh, and now even the cap space going up. See, the cap space is, is even going up from that. Uh, we got these Timishov and stuff like that. This guy is not gonna be in there. I don't want him in. Uh, we're gonna be. Here's the thing. Can't put him down, but I I need to. Uh, oh shit, that's not good. But I need to at least do that. Need to at least do that. Here's uh, what I'm going to be doing. Uh, probably... Okay, yeah, I need to bring up some... Yeah, I need to bring up these two, I guess. And uh, on the other side, now I'm going to be able to... Uh, get the one that is the least... Uh, the least uh, good. Okay, so these two are going to go down. Never mind, my guy. You are going back up. Sorry about that. You're going back up. So my top six uh, forward, top nine forward. We got some big rookies in here. We got Timoshov as well in here, boys. So Timoshov is playing for us. Good. Got some good prospects here and there. So that's pretty good. We got a decent team. Uh, defense, one, two, three, four, five, six. Obviously, this guy's. I don't. We won't want him to play in here. Uh, this is perfect for a guy right here. So he's going to be playing for us. Yeah. All right. So we're good to go. So all of this is good. We've got Limbach and Villaninen. Uh, anybody else? Nope, not really. All right, we're good to go, boys. So everything's in here. Now, obviously, we don't have... We only have... Uh, we're going to need, like, a, a center or something, like, uh, in the minors. We're going to have to bring back up just in case someone gets injured or something. Anybody I don't really care too much about. Bjornen, for example. We're going to put him in. I guess he's going to be our replacement. Let's do best lines for now. I don't really care. So we got a lot of... Cap space uh, that we got to do. Uh, we Here's the thing. How many contracts do we have? 49 out of 50. We have to clear up some space. 
uh, as well. We need to clear up uh, some uh, some space for our actual roster. We got too many players on. Uh, so we need to sign some people, obviously. Now, here's the thing. It would be great to have these players right here. All these little players. Victor Ras, Stepan, all these players. It would be great to have them. And this is what I'm going to be trying to do. I'm going to try to sign them, obviously. Uh, we don't want to mess around too much with that, though. So, uh, goalie-wise, we might want to bring in Olby as well. Obviously, that would be a great move for us. So, bring in Olby. Uh, first thing uh, that we're going to do is bring him in. Uh, have at least a good goaltender for our team. So, Olby is going to be... I guess he wants 3 million. What uh, What about 3 million? Uh, 3 years. Three years is at five million. We got plenty of money, boys, to spend. Plenty of money to spend, so we're gonna spend it. And I'm gonna put uh, at least half of that. So six point six point two, I guess. Six point two, six point two million for three years. Let's see if he accepts that. All right. Let's see. He's probably gonna accept that. I thought he wouldn't. Uh, we're gonna need to clear out some con uh, uh, some. Um, Contracts, obviously, as well, though. So, Victor Rask and Stepan, I... They're not asking for too much, so I could definitely sign those. But I need to see what type of players I already have in my team. Like a Milano, for example, all that. I need to see who do I got in my team already, you know? So, first things first, we are going to be trading away our players. Let's see what we can get, uh, boys. So, we got a lot of centers right now. Really a lot of centers. And a whole lot of nothing, really. So maybe this guy, like right here, a bunch of garbage nonsense, boys. So we need to trade all of this, all of this, uh, and get rid of a little bit of cap space in the meantime as well. Uh, go to Boston Bruins. I don't care if they don't want them. I'm gonna just drop them for a couple of like a second round pick or something like that. They might want to. Let's see if they uh, they're gonna want to. No, a bit too much. Okay. Uh, third round pick. Let's see if third round pick is enough. Not enough, boys. Fourth round. Okay, so we're gonna need to uh, clear out even more. Fifth round. Oh, no, okay. How about the sixth round then? Okay, there we go. So we got a sixth round pick of all of these players. They they weren't worth anything. They didn't have a uh, anything interesting at all, boys. Going down for them. So, at least we got a 6 round pick. We cleared out the roster a little bit. We're clearing out the roster. Uh, at the same time, now I'm under the salary cap, as you can see. So, I need to... I uh, Before we start the... T, uh, before we start the, the actual season, we're going to need to be at least over uh, the minimum, right? The minimum is 60. And we're 57. So, we're going to need some money. Uh, that's going to be done as soon as we've got, uh, as soon as we have Olby in the team, we're going to be fine, boys. So that's that. Uh, for now, though, let's see. So we got, uh, we did uh, do that with the Boston Bruins. So we've got, what we need to do now is uh, we've got space to sign a couple of players. That's basically what we got. So we are going to go ahead and do just that. Uh, I think... I want to sign, obviously I want to sign Milano. Uh, that's one thing I want to sign for sure is Milano boys. So uh, right wingers wise, we don't really have any right wingers that's really that interesting. We're not, we've got plenty of right wingers that are big time prospects and stuff. So we're not going to touch that. But uh, for this right here, Sniper, uh, we got to see really quick uh, if he fits our team. It doesn't seem, we don't really know if he fits too much. It doesn't matter to me though. I just want to make sure that he's got he's got good stats. Offensive and end eye is great. That's all that matters to me really. Uh, defensive as well is really good. So he's going to be a really good player. A sniper is going to be a really good player for you. Uh, so let's try and get him long term. Four year deal boys. Uh, that's would re require him to be 6 million. Which is fine. I'm going to pay big uh, for them. I'm going to pay big boys. I don't care. So 6 million, uh, I guess 6.7 would be the way to go for me right here. No, no other team is asking for him. So 6.225. Let's, let's see if that's going to be enough. All right. 6.25. 
And now we're gonna try and sign uh, at least these two guys, like uh, Rask and uh, Stepan. Stepan though is uh, a top nine already. It's kind of a waste. I don't know if I should sign him or not. I don't think I should. Uh, Rask does have a couple of years to him. They're both two way forwards though. Unless they've got good stats, which they tend to have. Okay, yeah, no, but they're, they're both two-way forwards, so we're not going for two-way forwards. You already know that, boys. I'm not touching that. Uh, we could have a veteran in Joe Thornton, though, joining in the mix, helping us out, boys. So let's do that. Let's bring it in at least Joe Thornton to help us out uh, at least two years. Yeah, two-year deal, my guy, whatever. He's not going to cost anything. Let's make sure he signs with us. So I guess two point... 2.165, uh, 2.15 uh, uh, boys for two years, all right? Let's see if that's going to be enough for him to sign. Uh, I could try and sign some other players. I don't feel like it, like Galchenyuk, for example. Uh, we're not going for uh, two f 4s That's the one thing. We're not touching power force, two f 4s We're not touching them. Uh, on these player, sni uh, playmakers, snipers, grinders, maybe. All right, that's the only thing we're touching right now. So, next stage for us, coaching staff. What do we got? A bunch of Garbo, uh, Garbanzo. Uh, overall, not really that great uh, coaching staff. Do we have a good, good, some good options here and there? Maybe we do. Uh, we're kind of limited in terms of staffing staff, of the sta uh, staffing salary. We're very limited, boys. Uh, we could try and sign somebody in here. We don't really have much. We're not going to sign anybody. We're not going to sign anybody. We're going to keep it the way it is for now. Uh, and over here, we got to fire all of these. I'm going to need to get some actual uh, scouts in here that are proper, boys. So let me get all the scouts. That should be more than enough for now. I uh, uh, went for seven contracts. Let's see if... I can actually sign all of them properly, boys. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. For the rest, uh, the main part is we cannot edit the strategies anymore. Strategies are not a thing we can edit anymore. So we're stuck with the coach's actual strategies, which is kind of a shame. We got our captains. Here's our captains right here, boys. Uh, I kind of feel like... Yeah, here's the thing. I don't want my captain to be Rodin. I feel like it should be Timishov. Timishov should be my captain. There we go. Makes a lot more sense, boys. So, that's uh, done. Now that that is done, uh, we can actually skip ahead, I believe. Because we pretty much did everything we needed to do here. Uh, trading block is in here as well. Yeah, everything's good. I think everything's good, boys. And, yeah, for the rest, I don't really have much. I could do a hostile situation where... I try and sign a hostile player, like do an offer cheat compensation or something like that. Or I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to get rid of my draft picks, though. So that's why I'm kind of. Uh, I kind of don't want to really do that, to be honest. So, okay. So there's already some stuff. So new salary cap, obviously, all of that, all good. Let's uh, just for now. Let's just skip ahead. I don't really care. There we go. Uh, we uh, they accepted my offer. So the scouts are coming in, boys. All the little scouts are coming in slowly but surely. Don't really care too much right now about what's going on for the uh, preseason. I'm just looking to sign all the scouts as much as possible right here and make sure that everything's all right for us. And I'm waiting for the uh, the signings of my players. So we do have Thornton. There we go. So Thornton did sign with us. We got Braden Old B as well. Good. And Milano. We got all three. All three are of them are in there, which is great. Fantastic, boys. So, uh, with all of that done, now we've got Thornton in here. That's fantastic. Let's uh, bring you back in the minors. Thornton's going to be playing for us. Uh, Scott is going to be the one in the minors right here. Good. Uh, we got left wing wise. Uh, we uh, bring out Milano, boys. So, instead of this guy right here, which actually, no, okay, yeah, we got to bring him in the minors. Right here. There we go. So, Milano, now even better than Timishov, is our new guy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, boys. And, obviously, uh, this guy right here, Shlenica, is 
Not getting replaced. I thought I got a defenseman. I didn't. So we're good. And it's just the goalie wise, I guess. So which goalie do I want to stick here? We're going to keep Lim back just because Vitev Linen can grow into the minors. So let him grow into the minors instead of playing a backup role, which is, wouldn't be great for his growth. So we're going to let him grow into the minors instead. So Brandon Olby is in here, boys. Got the brand new uh, setup and stuff like that. Let me uh, actually, let me just do uh, head coach preferred lines for now. I don't really care too much. Okay, so we got all of that. But now the main part is, let's see how much money we got left. We still got 69 million available. Uh, no, wait, how many do we have? We got 30 million available. There we go. So uh, our cap hit uh, right now is 69, so nice. Uh, we went from 57 to 69, so that's already much better. Uh, so we got, uh, right now, what we're doing is cap space-wise. Got a lot of stuff going on, right? So I do, I do kind of want to sign at least a defenseman. Very uh, important to have some defensemen helping you out. Defensive defensemen are hot garb uh, garbage boys so either uh, offensive or defensive defenseman that we need we got an option right here uh valenin valenin doesn't ask for too much i guess you see any good i mean he's pretty good he's pretty decent overall we've got all the uh, other ones we've got one right here though uh top six demon uh, ferentz which is still growing, so yeah, that would be a better option for us. 65 overall. But I feel like it, it wouldn't be really... Yeah, I, I don't feel like we should sign anybody because we don't... Uh, there's not really uh, any defensemen that really that eye-catching, you know what I mean? So that's the team we're probably going to have for the entire season. All the way up, at least until the trade deadline, boys. Uh, we're this year. We're not gonna have a like a really stud team. Uh, time to switch the captaincy again, uh, though. So Larson, sure you can stay as a. Uh, actually, no. Larson, your uh, Torton is gonna be. You know what? Torton is gonna be my captain for at least one year. Milano, my assistant, uh, my assist guy. There we go. That's much better, boys. That's much more like it. So. With that, uh, with that said, boys, we are ready, ready and uh, to go. Let's go ahead and do just that. Uh, let's go ahead and modify my lineups really quick. All right, everything's good, boys. We're good to go. Uh, all the lineups have been made. So this is what it's going to be look like uh, at least for the beginning of the season. It's going to be Milano, Thornton, and Gun Gunler, which is our young top six prospect, uh, which was i guess drafted by the Car uh, Ar uh, carolina hurricanes but he's now ours boys so let's go let's get him so sniper playmaker sniper let's see how that goes i guess timishov with larson and rodin uh rodin a, ve a big time veteran and stuff like that let's see how that's go as well larson uh though is a two-way forward uh if i see that it's not working out at all well i might just get rid of larson uh, like so a couple of those like two-way players and stuff. He goes we already know we don't like two ways uh, Muzito Bagenda boys with uh, Dvor uh, Dvorsky and Ging uh, Ginge or something like that Dvorsky Medium elite player boys big time prospect right here 17 years of age And he's playing for us. So we're lucky. We got one of those uh, elite players right here already in our team boys so already we're starting off with that. We got a top six prospect, uh, prospect in there playing. Defensive wide Bjork and Bergman. We've got Linz Hein, uh prospect top four, medium top four boys in uh, Kinval. We got Schlenica and uh, Dillert. We got all these players and obviously in the goalie section, Holby as the may as the starter, and Lindback as the backup. So that's what our team looks like. That's what our team's going to be looking like, boys. Nothing too shabby. We're obviously, we're going to be uh, doing events today, obviously, all, all the time. That's how we're going to be simulating all the stuff. Uh, we're going to actually doing do pretty well overall. 
especially in our division since we've got some solid players in here that we managed to sign boys so we're obviously going to be doing pretty well boys no worries about that you might uh, say well you're playing as the uh yeah i already know about that we're good so you might say uh we're playing as a uh, european team so obviously we don't we don't have anybody in the roster that is true but we don't have to have anybody when you uh, have a bunch of other european teams as well you know so we're doing we're good uh our division this is where our division is at uh, i'm actually gonna do simulate the regular season i don't care about the scouts uh, they can do their own thing let me just go ahead and advance the day really quick so it looks like our literally our first three games are up against the tps we're literally only playing their first three games of the uh, season boys Starting against the, uh, the TPS. That's interesting. All right. Well, here's the thing. So there's the, the division because they're in our own division and stuff. We've got just a bunch of European team in our division. So there's a league. If we can have a really good team in here, like a really good uh, a team for sure. This is how we're going to do it. But for, remember, it's not about a league system anymore. It's conference system. So... We got to make it to the top 16. Uh, we are competing right now with the central division as well. So a bunch of these guys. So probably the top eight right here. Already these eight players, uh, these eight teams right there, probably all are already going to make it to the, um, to the playoffs. Guaranteed already for them. So we need to look at the uh, this side right here. All-stars already making it. So that's already nine teams making it for sure, boys. Unless drastic things happen. So it's all... It, we still got plenty of spot. Plenty of uh, time to make it there. If we get the the right team under our hands. Playoff is not going to be a problem. Making it to a playoffs boys. So uh, let's start it up I guess. The first thing I want to do is... Obviously we want to kind of look at our team right. So the first game of the play of the uh, of the year. We are going to do a quick uh, or sl uh, small time simulation. We are going to test it out, boys. So let's start uh, test it out. Let's see. Right off the bat, we get scored on, though, by uh, Kivilal. Stormgren for a, a first goal of uh, for us, boys, in the history of the league for us. Good. We're getting... Uh, we got scored on, though, as well. So that's unfortunate. And obviously, I cannot switch the strategies. That's the one thing that's uh, going to hurt me, boys, is... It's the coach that actually decides the strategies from now on. We uh, In this game, though, that's one thing I don't like is we cannot personally switch the strategies. So if things don't happen the way we want it to happen, it is what it is. There's nothing we can do. Dvorsky, first goal ever in the NHL for him. Boys, medium elite player, prospect. Really great for him. Good for him. Larson scoring a goal for us. Really good. All right, we got a good simulation going on for us right now, boys. Love to see it. Uh, we're going to hop on into the five last minutes of the game, basically. Uh, that's what we're going to be doing. So let's simulate a little bit right here. Let's see how this is going to go. Or the 10 last minute, basically the 10 minutes that's going to be left. Let's see what we got, boys. Okay, stop right here. Stop right here. Let's hop on into the game, boys. Let's have some fun. And uh, watch our players uh, actually play real time. Here we are, boys. I'm going to decline that. And I'm the coach right now, so I get to decide the strategies. Here we go. Right off the bat, we're going to decide the strategies. They're playing on rookie. The AI is playing on rookie. So there might be a lot of goals happening right now. So I don't know how that's going to go. Torton up to uh, up to him. There we go. Shoot it, buddy. There we go. Milano getting a, a shot in here. Torton, get a shot. There we go. Maybe go for the rebound and stuff. And uh, everything seems all right for the rest, boys. Oh, watch out now. Watch out. Holdbeat's going to save that. And no, I still want to go for the 1-3-3. One, 1-3-1. Three, three. Uh, one, three, one. Do that. And uh, go for a strong slide slot. There we go. So we're good. Well, my strategies are good now. Overload and all of that stuff. All right, change it up. Change it up for uh, the second line and stuff. Time to change it up, boys. Really quick. Love to see that, boys. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun this year. I imagine with simulation and stuff like that. Good save by Lettinen right here. Uh, let's just play defensively a little bit, boys. Shut it down. And uh, they're probably going to uh, call, uh, call in their goalie or something. Pull out their goalie. 
We're probably going to try and do it. That uh, was almost a goal. Really good shot right there. Uh, there's the second line, by the way. So Rodin, Timishov, and uh, I don't remember who's the... It's a bunch of European uh, names, boys. I don't know. But well, watch out now. Don't let him shoot. There we go. There's the, there goes the empty net as well. We've got Bergman. Look how slow they are, though. That's a turnaround. That's a turnover right there. I don't like that. I do not like that. you got to switch the, the def defense as well. Go, boys. Go. Switch the defense as well. Okay, well. Def defense seems to be good enough. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Uh, I'm actually going to tell them to contain the puck. There we go. Get the goal. Oh, almost, boys. Almost got the goal right there, but it got blocked off in front. Got uh, deflected. That's a shame. All right, go. Go for a line change. I'm actually going to tell them to switch the strategies as well. All right, you go, buddy. You go, you go, you go. Go, go, go. Oh, well. Didn't have time to uh, make him shoot, but that's okay. First game, boys. First game of the season, and we win at 3-2. to two. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. And if we can beat these guys up a bunch of times, we are playing against this, this team, the TPS. We're playing against them uh, three times in a row. So first uh, game out of that series, we won it. So that's really good. 33 s shots as well. Lots of shots, boys. That's really, really good, boys. So let's continue right on our path right here. We did really great for the first game now. Quick time simulation it is. Let's see how well we do in quick time simulation. Very well indeed for the second game. 5-0. and oh. So a shout out win for us. Really good. Third game right here against the TPS. We managed to get a point. So we lose but in overtime. So we're 4-3. Three, but uh, we managed to get a point out of that. Which is really great. So already we're at the top of our division. Which is all we can ask for right now. Uh, let's keep it going at least until 10 games mark. There's a win against uh, the Jets, the Winnipeg Jets, which is a huge win, boys. Really huge win. That's really huge against NHL teams. There's a loss, regulation loss. 5-4, to four, though, so we are scoring goals big time against the Buffalo Sabres. Here it goes. The Winnipeg Jets, we beat them again. Wow, we defeated not only once, but twice the Winnipeg Jets. That's a NHL tier game, boys. Much better roster than us, and we managed to defeat them. Here goes the Capitals as well, as well the Red Bulls. We did lose against the Red Bulls, okay. That's uh, uh that's in interesting. So we lost against the Red Bulls. There we go. Let's keep it going, boys. So uh, two more games, so... NHL games uh, caliber right here. We've got Shane Wright and the uh, Krakens right here. Let's see if we can beat them. We can. 1-0. and oh. Okay, another shout-out, boys. Getting some shout-out. Uh, Holby is really doing the job for us right now. Really helping us out. And Talk about Thornton as well, really doing a deed. Uh, Calgary, we de we are going to be uh, destroyed by Calgary 5-2, to two, though. But I, it's that's okay. Because now we're up to 10 games played, boys. Our first 10 games and we are at the top of our division. We defeated the Jets twice, which is really good to see. Really good. So the only two NHL teams we haven't defeated yet is the Buffalo Sabres and the Calgary Flames. Uh, so if we take a look at the uh, at this team, the Jets are doing uh, not too well. I mean, they did get two losses from me, which is interesting. And the best player of my team, which uh, I mean... I'm in the top four right here, I think, I think, right? All-Stars didn't get a single loss so far, not surprising. We're time, kind of top five. We're in the top five uh, over here of the, of, the, of the conference. So that's really, really good right now. After 10 games, really happy about that, boys. Uh, if we take a look, I mean, Ort Torton, the best player of our team, 11 points, two goals only, but he's obviously a playmaker, big-time playmaker, boys, so... That's normal. But, uh, all right. So, Milano, eight points. Plus four. Yeah, this first line is working great, boys. Really going to work great for Gunler's um, growth as well. That's really good. I like that. I like that quite a lot. What about Timishov? Yeah, the first, second line as well is doing really good, boys. Really, really good. And we've got, obviously, we've got uh, the f third line really doing good. Producing a lot as well, as you can see. I mean, 7 points in 10 games played for Dvorsky. That's really good for his growth. That's fantastic for his growth right here. 
Stromgren. The fourth line is the one uh, getting hit a lot by the points. Uh, quite a lot. Yeah, so the fourth line is the one getting hit by the points. That's okay. There's nobody in here. Aside from Stromgren, though. I don't want him to get hit too much, but... You know, it's gonna happen. It's bound to happen. Uh, there's gotta be a line that does uh, struggles a little bit, boys. So, uh, first duo, pair of duo is doing fine. Third duo as well. It's the third duo that's uh, struggling. Old B, uh, 934 saving percentage. Fantastic. Six wins out of nine games played. Three shoutouts already, boys. Uh, two of them against the Winnipeg Jets. So, really good. Uh, Ninback, not so much though. N not doing too great, but you can't expect much out of him, obviously. So, yeah, first start, the f start of the game, the season is really great, boys. Been great for us. Uh, we're gonna stop it right here. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna go ahead and see. Maybe I can actually get myself a really good coach in here. Uh, maybe fire this coach right here, goalie coach, and actually get my hands on uh what you call it uh the b coach right here because there is a b coach available so maybe we can actually sign him uh the reason i'm saying that is because the scouts we're passing the scouts in terms of salary so it'll probably be the same thing for the uh staffing uh salary probably don't even have to worry about that so uh, remember if you did leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this first video boys of franchise mode i'll see you guys for the next one keep it easy